Wrigley, truck is clean. Just FYI, this is my favorite drying towel as of right now, and I purchased this bad boy on Amazon. And uh, yeah, it just works really good. So anyways, let's go install some mounts. What's going on YouTube? So recently I decided I needed to up my cell phone mount game in my truck. I was going there for a while without it. I had it in my last F-150. I just, for some reason, I don't like it when my Apple silicone case gets like the magnetic ring around it. I don't know why, but I decided I don't care anymore. The case is old, so maybe I just don't care as much, but having the magnetic mount or some sort of mount that holds your phone on the dash is just the ultimate way to keep your phone in your vehicle. So I researched as many mounts as I possibly could because I gotta find like the perfect fit for my truck for me. It's just gotta align with my core values. I started off with a cheap mount from Amazon and it's in the truck right now. Let me see, can you see that bad boy? And we're just gonna rip it off. This guy right here. This one was like 20 bucks and all it does is it has a couple little plastic pieces that basically locks into your vent, but it's also got a piece of double-sided tape. I don't even think the double-sided tape makes that big a difference. It'll just clip in place. It's like a plastic ram mount. It's it. It's not bad, but it's just cheesy looking. And I don't like cheesy, especially in my Raptor. Like you can't put, you can, but it just wasn't working for me. I decided to reach out to Nick over at TAC Form and he got me set up with a few different mounts for the truck. He has one very similar to this, but only his is 10 times better. It's made out of aluminum. It just looks quality. And I was gonna go that route, but he told me he recommended going with the fast track dash bracket. That's what we have here. There's just a few screws. Some of the other mounts that are very similar to this, you gotta drill into your dash. And that just right there, I was like, skirt. Nope, not doing it. I honestly was just kind of like washing my hands from that idea until he was like, hey, our bracket doesn't require any drilling. And I was like, that's what I want. Let's get these things put together. So we have the Fast Track Plus dash bracket. We have two different mounting options. Option A, this one's gonna end up being a magnetic mount, kind of like what I already had that's gonna attach to this base. Or this one here is gonna be the clamp where it just kind of holds your phone like that. And then this is gonna be for GoPros, action cameras, things like that. Let's throw this bad boy together first, which is gonna be the dash bracket. And then since these are machine screws, what I recommend doing is when you first, it's not, it's not that big of a deal on something like this, but you can actually just do one of these. Just reverse the screw until you hear it click. And when you do it counterclockwise, and then you hear it kind of click and set in, that means you've lined up the threads completely fine and you can go ahead and start to tighten it down. So that's your base. Simple enough, it's just gonna 3M adhesive right into the center part of your dash. And I think, I don't know which one I'm gonna end up using. I'm thinking I like the magnetic mount, but I'm also gonna try out the one that has the claw. So let's just crack this guy open. These magnets are gonna go either in between your cell phone and the case, or you can just, you know, use the 3M adhesive right to the back. Uh, I don't really particularly care for that, although you're gonna get a better grip. I'm gonna go in between the case. And I'm not even gonna remove the 3M adhesive. I just let it, it'll kind of magnetize to the MagSafe piece on the iPhone. And this is just a spare one. We'll just keep that probably in the center console of the truck. This is the magnetic mount. So what you'll do is you'll unscrew this guy. Pop it on. Before you do that, pop that on, pop that on. Tighten her down. And then the next step is this piece is going to adapt to this, but you need to install it on the fast track system first. So what it'll do is it'll just actually go in place, slide, and you'll tighten down the screw. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is there's a screw in here. You just loosen that up. That way you can just put it on here and slide it to basically wherever you want. Since this is gonna be, actually, when it's in the truck, it's gonna be this way is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna want this to be my cell phone mount. I want it as close to the driver's side as possible. And then just tighten her down. She is good. Go ahead and tighten this down, and then we'll fine tune that once we put it in the truck. So now said and done, that is the setup, goes in the center tray, and then if you ever wanna move it, what I would do is I'd recommend leaving the Allen wrench in your center console of your truck, that way if you ever decide you do wanna move it real quick, 
loosen it, and then you can just position it wherever you want. Well, that's what I really like about the fast track system, how you can just kind of maneuver them back and forth. Um, the plan is we're gonna do the mount for my GoPro camera, which I no longer have a GoPro. I have the DJI. We'll dial this one in better once it's in the truck. And then this is just the, if you're familiar with GoPro cameras or any of those, that's just your thumb screw. So that's where the camera's gonna go. Pretty easy setup, so it's great because you can actually maneuver these back and forth and you can add more things. The only thing that I could think of that I'd wanna change or add to this possibly is something so I could mount my Sony mirrorless camera to this because sometimes when I'm driving, I hold the camera and that's probably not the best idea. So I might look into uh, changing this or adding something to do that. You know, I might end up liking this better than the magnetic mount. Everything is aluminum. Like this is super nice. I'm, I am so stoked on this setup. It does come with extra mounting hardware. So if you do want to utilize these mounting brackets down here, there's four of them. We're going to just go with the double-sided tape. I don't want to drill any holes. Now that we get the mount completely assembled, let's get it in the truck. The other thing that you technically could do with the second arm kit, you could run it over here on the other side, and then that way your passenger has a cell phone bracket as well. I think I'm just going to run one with the Solo. Uh, Wrigley doesn't have a cell phone, so he, he really won't utilize that bracket. And also make sure to take that pad off, because obviously if you double side tape to that, your mount's moving everywhere. Give this a quick cleaning. So we got that tape removed. That's the TAC form dash mount. That thing is super clean. Everything is made out of aluminum. I actually didn't know that everything was aluminum when I got it. I just assumed that some of the pieces were gonna be maybe plastic, but everything is aluminum. Everything is just superb quality and I could not be more happy with this purchase. I'm really stoked on it. So originally when I put this thing together, I was using the magnetic mount, which is this guy. It easily swaps out. You just loosen this guy right here and obviously put that guy in the ram mount. This though, I like this better because I can keep my phone down low. I just think that the lower the phone sets, the cleaner it looks. I hate when I see people driving and they have their phone like on their windshield or they have it up just super high. I just think it looks super awkward. I mean, it works, but I really, really like keeping it a little lower on the dash. This I'm gonna end up using maybe like road trips or something like that for using this as a dash cam. This is my DJI action camera, or I'm obviously gonna just use it for shots for my videos. I have another whole separate arm system that I might actually end up moving this over, putting it to the middle, and then putting my other arm and set up over here for the passenger. So again, guys, everything's aluminum. Everything is super quality. It's double-sided taped and it's going nowhere. This is the mount to get for your F-150 slash Raptor. But that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Make sure to head over to TacForms website. I'll drop a link down below. And they have all sorts of different mounts, not just for Fords, but they have them for all different makes and models. And they also have like motorcycle mounts, different mounts for your GoPros, just all sorts of mounts and everything is super quality. And I will for sure be doing more business with TacForm in the future. If you guys have any comments, drop them down below and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.